Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chase from Zach Dude Griffith, and today I'm going to be showing you my wand collection. Okay, so first, we're going to do them smallest to largest, and I have six so far. But I'm going to be back with other videos to show you more than, than I get. Okay, so first, this is actually my favorite, which is coincidence of my favorite and the smallest, is Draco Malfoy's wand. It comes with a really nice package, and in, in, it's from the Noble Collection. You can order this. All the Harry Potter ones from the Noble Collection are on Amazon and Amazon Prime, so that should be good. Two-day shipping. This is Draco's, and I've been waiting for this for a very long time. So you see, it's very short and very plain, which is why I like it. I don't know why, but it, I just like it like that. It's got, like, this um, pointed end and a very flat tip. It's got two rings here. It's black at the handle and brown, like, where the magic comes out, I guess. And it's, and it's very round, I guess. I guess all wands are like that. But this is, like, the roundest wand I've seen so far. So next we have Harry Potter's wand. And wait, let me point one thing out. This wand is actually the famous wand that defeated Lord Voldemort. Not this one, because if you remember and if you've seen the movies, the movie and read the book then you'd know that but i'm not going to spoil how why this is the one that does that so make sure to read harry potter and the deathly hollows but read the other books first so now let's get into harry's wand the second shortest and my third favorite out of my collection also from the same place this is from amazon i'll get to this in a minute but amazon's package are a lot nice packaging is a lot nicer than universal which is down at the which is in florida and i got the elder one from universal but that's the longest one so i'll get to that last so this is harry potter's wand it's i it has a really nice grip and it's also short and i like the shorter ones better than the longer ones and it's double carved see here and yeah it's just really nice it's got these it's also if you look at draco's wand this is a lot thinner than draco's wand and it's also just a teeny bit longer and the bottom looks like it's made out of wood like actual wood in the movie and the top looks like it's also made out of wood but a smoother finished type so now this is ronald weasley's wand his is also very plain, and this is my favorite packaging yet. Even though it's pretty much the same, this is very soft, and I like the color of these little flat things. So his wand is has a very short grip. It looks like kind of like a tree stump, I guess, here, and then it's got a very long, um, and also a very skinny point, and also... See, on this side it gets longer, but on this side, it's just very short. So yeah, nothing really much to say about this wand, although it is my fifth favorite. No, yeah, my fifth favorite. So yeah, and I like how it's not just straight. It's got like these little bumps, like going around here, around this whole part of the wand, like that. So yeah, that's Ron's wand. And again, these if you look at these three wands, the length is just very minuscule. See, look at this. It's Draco's wand is basically the same height as Harry's wand, and Harry's wand is basically the same height as Ron's wand. So next we have a lot longer wand than the others. Voldemort's wand, which is my second favorite. It used to be my first favorite until I got Draco's wand. It, this is actually my dad's favorite, and it's, I love it so much. It's like the coolest wand there is. Okay, so at the bottom, like where the handle is, at the very bottom, it looks like, like a raven head. And I think that's cool too. And it looks like kind of like a bone, like throughout the whole wand. And it's got, it's very, it's not, like no part is really pointed at the handle. And I like that a lot. It's like very, like, it's curved. And that's very great quality about that. Not quality, characteristic. And... I'm just going to say all these wands that I have are very great quality, and especially from the Noble Collection. They're great. So the top is um, 
a very smooth wood, and then the bottom is a little rough. And I like here, it kind of looks like a very skinny beehive. That was Voldemort's wand. Now here is my fourth favorite. This is Sirius Black's wand. This is also from the Nova Collection. Though my last least favorite, for, that doesn't mean I still like it, is not from the Nova Collection. And this has a lot of like, I guess, Viking ruins at the bottom. And it's very straight. It's like no curves. It's completely straight. And it doesn't really have a handle. And I kind of, I like it a lot, but I wish it would have had a little bit of curve. No, no, actually I don't. It looks good straight. And it's also very long, which is another characteristic of that, which is not my favorite because I like the shorter ones. Like a good length is Voldemort's wand or Ron's wand. And I like it. It has a bunch of different designs. Like here you can see it swoops all the way up to the top. And then it also has circles right here. And like I said, Viking ruins. So yeah, this is a really good. Great wand. And that brings me to my last wand, which is Dumbledore's wand. And this one is actually where it was originally made, Universal. It's probably the greatest quality wand I have. But the packaging, if you look at packaging from the Noble Collection, you'll see that it has a nice soft inside and it has nice little flaps. They're kind of feathery and they just make it look better. But then if you look inside Dumbledore's wand case thing, oh, there we go. It's also much harder to open than these because if you just go like that, then you have to shake it a lot like that. But, and you see it's very rough. It's just not the best quality of packaging. Well, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm going to talk about these. Okay, so... This one, it probably has the second most detail of it because Sirius is obviously has the most. And I like, like, these are like kind of miniature beehives as well. And I don't really know what this is. I, I think it's maybe a sign, not of the, maybe of the Deathly Hollows, but not actually like the Deathly Hollows sign. But yeah, it's a still a pretty cool one. It's got, it's not complete, it's straight, but it's got some like um, indents here, which makes it look cooler. And also, and has a really great handle, like, and, like, you're not supposed to hold it like this, like this. And also, it goes small beehive, big beehive, and then smaller, 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 and then the smallest. And it has a very flat tip. So, yeah, those are all my wands. But first, I want to show you something. If you look at Harry's and Voldemort's wand, you see that this is double carved. And this is double carved, which is another thing what, that makes them brothers because they share the same phoenix core well thank you all for watching and see you guys next time bye